Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ordering numbers. This is standard 6.2D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 4 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we simply need to take these numbers and put them in order from greatest to least. But you notice we have two decimals. We've got 7. And we've got negative 1.2. That's a whole number 7, but we can count that as a decimal because that's really what we're going to look at here is we'll, we'll make it a point zero just so they all kind of match up. We've got a mixed number, negative 3 and a quarter, and then we've got two improper fractions negative 19 halves, and we've got 38 over 6, or 38 sixths. So what we need to do is we need to get them all into the same form. And I think we're going to move them all into decimals. That's going to be the easiest. So let's just take negative 19 halves. And how we change our improper fraction to a decimal is we simply divide up. So I'm just going to ignore that negative right now. I'm just going to divide that 2 into 19. 2 goes into 19. Let's see, 9 times. That's going to get us 18. And that is going to be 1 left over. If we wanted, we could turn this into a mixed fraction of negative 9.5, but I want a decimal. So we're going to add a decimal, add a 0. We're going to keep dividing. So 2 goes into 10 five times. So 9.5, but let's remember it's negative 9.5. So let's say negative 19 halves is the same as negative 9.5. And since we were looking at it, it was also negative 9 and a half. So that's going to help us with that one. Let's look at our negative 3 and 1 quarter. And quite honestly, it's this one quarter is going to be pretty simple for us. This one fourth right here, that is a benchmark fraction. We should know that that is going to be equal to negative 3.25 because one fourth is one quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. So we are going to go ahead and just make this into negative 3 and a quarter is equal to negative. 3.25, that's pretty simple. And then we've got this 38.6. That might take us a little bit of time. It's not a sixth or not benchmark fraction, so we're going to have to divide up and see what happens on this one. 38. Make an extra long fraction bar just in case I have to get into the decimals. 6 goes into 38 six times. 36. Remainder of 2. Let's bring our decimal. So I've got 20. 6 goes into 20 three times. That's going to be 18. And look, we're in an endless loop. We've got a remainder of 2. 6 goes into 20 three times. 18, remainder 2. So it's going to be 6.33333 forever. So let's call this 38 over 6 equals 6.3 repeating. To where if we really want this, this is going to be 6.3 repeating is the same as one third. That is a benchmark fraction. So now we have everything right here in decimals. And they already gave us a negative 1.2. And they also gave us a 7, but I'm going to call that 7.0, make it a little bit easier. So we need greatest. Well, look at our greatest. We've got two that are not negative. We've got the 6.3 and we've got the 7. Those two are going to be our greatest, so 7 first. And then we got the 6.3 repeating, which is the 38.6, so G and J are good. So now we need the next smallest is going to be the smallest negative. This negative 1.2 is closest to 0, so that's going to be our next one. And then our negative 3.25 and then negative 9.5 or negative 19 halves, J.